Hey friends and welcome back for another video. My name is Sophie in case you're new around here. I am filming another fall clothing haul today, but today it's all about H&M. I went through yesterday. I got so many cute things. I've got two massive bags. Two very full big bags of H&M. And I'm really going to do my best to film, edit, and post this video all today on the same day, which is kind of crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it for the sake of timing. But just quickly, in case you've never seen one of my hauls before, basically I will hold up the item, show you what it is, tell you how much it cost, the sizing that I got it in, and then I will cut to me trying it on, showing you what I think of it, telling you how it feels on, how I think the fit feels, and all that stuff. So the first thing I got, of course, I'm wearing it already. It is this really, really cute Yale oversized, like collegiate little crew neck sweater. So cute, so comfy. I got it in a size large, and this was $29.99. So I will show you what it looks like. I'm gonna stand up and show you. I've got it on with biker shorts. Okay, here is what it looks like. I think it is so cute. So, so, so perfect for fall or really any time of the year. Just with biker shorts. I love that the large is like a nice oversized fit. It is so soft and fuzzy inside. It really is like the perfect just oversized crew neck for me. I think it is so cute. It's a navy blue. I really wanted to wear it with some white biker shorts, but I couldn't find any. Have you guys seen that TikTok where girls are wearing like a crew neck and biker shorts and they're like, am I Princess Diana? Am I? Am I Princess Diana? That is exactly how I feel right now. I feel like it's very Lady Di. I just need some white socks, some cute sneakers, and like, I think it would definitely look better with like white biker shorts or just like lighter colored biker shorts under, but okay, let's get into the rest of the haul. Next up is this really cute like denim dress slash maybe a jacket. Um, I actually already tried it on this morning because I thought I was gonna wear it today, but it's a little bit big, so I think I'm probably gonna go back and get it in either a small or extra small. I did get it in a medium um, and it was $29.99. And this denim does feel really, really soft and like comfy. Like it feels like it's been washed a million times, which I love. I'm a little unsure of this because it feels like it's a little too big, um, like width wise and stuff, but then it's not really long enough to wear as a dress. It's like just barely long enough to wear as a dress, definitely with some biker shorts underneath. But I feel like I need a smaller size to like fit my shoulders and like my body better, but then it's gonna be even shorter. So I need to figure out if this is gonna work, um, I might be able to just wear it as like a little over jacket kind of thing. Anyway, you'll see what I mean when I try it on right now. Okay, here is the denim shirt jacket thing on. You see what I mean how it's like quite short here? Like if I lift my arms at all, it's like goes really, really short. So I definitely need biker shorts under there. I'm a little conflicted with this because it does feel like really nice and big and oversized. I just wish it was a little bit longer and then I think it would be like perfect and I would be able to wear it a lot just like as a dress. Um, but if I'm gonna wear it more as like a shirt or like an open sort of jacket thing, I think I want to get it in a smaller size. It is quite like wide, you know, like big and wide. It's just not long enough. So I think it would look cuter like from the side profile if it were a small or extra small. But I will say it is so, so comfortable and soft. Like it's not like a rigid denim material. It's like actually really nice and soft, but at the same time it feels like real denim. Like it doesn't feel like that like look-alike denim stuff. I don't know what that's called, but anyway. Hopefully you know what I'm talking about. That is that. Hopefully it'll work in another size for me. And by the way, I forgot to mention earlier, I will of course be linking everything in the description below that I can find. Next is this really, really cute like shacket, I believe is what we're calling them these days. But it's like really long, really cozy sort of like wool feeling material. I got this in a size small and it was $29.99 as well. So... Yeah, let's try it on and see what we think. Okay, here it is. I think it's pretty cute. I'm not like obsessed with it. It's nice because it's not too scratchy. Like it doesn't feel like super heavy or scratchy, but it's definitely very warm and cozy. The wrinkles like aren't helping the situation, but here you can see the material a bit better. I'm not sure what it is about it that I'm just like not loving, but I'm not obsessed, but it is kind of cute. And I can see how it would be really cute with like the right outfit. Undecided if I'm going to keep this, but yeah. Next up is just a little oversized t-shirt. I really like this color of green and it just says California Forest on it. I actually tried it on in the store, but in a size medium and it was like so massive. It looks ridiculous. So I got it in extra small because it's like already such an oversized fit. Um, so I haven't tried the size on yet. So we'll see what we think with this on. 
But yeah, just a cute, really comfy, soft, oversized t-shirt. I feel like I always need these because I wear my oversized tees to death. I'm hoping that the fit is gonna work in an extra small. Um, but yeah, we will see. And this was $17.99, by the way. Sorry, I almost forgot to tell you. Here is my little oversized tee with biker shorts on. I really, really like it. I really love the color of it. I think it's like kind of perfect. It is so, so soft and comfortable. I feel like I'm gonna wear this to absolute death. Um, and I think I really like it in this size extra small. I think it's perfect. It's a pretty good length to wear with biker shorts. Um, yeah, I love it. Next, we have another sort of shacket slash just long cozy flannel type of situation. This was $34.99 and I got it in a size extra small because it just looked really huge and oversized. So we're going to see how it fits, but just like a cute little neutral flannel plaid material so excited to try this on this is pretty cute um i really like it i got it in a size extra small so it's definitely quite an oversized fit i feel like i'll probably just wear it mostly open all the time over something like this i think it is very cute it's very fall it's very like warm and cozy okay i'm really excited about this one this is a really cute sort of dress vest wooly cozy kind of thing i don't really know what to call this but it is very cute it's got buttons all the way down it it's super super long um and i would kind of envision wearing this with like a turtleneck underneath i feel like i definitely want to layer it over something long sleeved um but i got this in a size extra small because it is very very oversized i actually tried it on in a size small and it was way too big so i haven't tried on the extra small yet but i think it'll fit better and this was 29.99 and it feels like such great material it's like a really thick sort of wooly soft material kind of like the other two like shirt jacket things that i showed you but i think it's so cute it'll be such a cute like fall winter outfit um so yeah i'm really excited to try this on with a little turtleneck okay before i do like a cutaway try on with this i'm going to show you the turtleneck that i got because i'm pretty sure i'm going to wear them together so we can like see them both at the same time here's the turtleneck just super super thin soft material it's actually a bodysuit but i got the turtleneck in a size large because it's very very tight and fitted and i like hate tight clothes so i think that the large is going to be great um it was 12.99 and i also got this in a black as well because I just thought I would get a whole lot of use out of it. And I like that the neck is like really stretchy and soft. Like I don't think it's gonna suffocate me, which I love, but I think it'll be really cute under the dress. So let's go ahead and try those on right now. Here it is. I think it is so freaking cute. I definitely would wear it with like some chunky boot heels or maybe like long boots, um, like knee highs. It has pockets, which is amazing. Um, I really, really love this. I also am going to try it on with it open with like some pants on under, obviously. And then the turtleneck is so cute look. It has thumb holes, which is amazing and so nice for like when you're layering stuff and you have to like stick your arm through to not like make the sleeve get bunched up. It's just very helpful. So really cute and cozy. And then the neck is very nice and loose and soft. It's not suffocating me. I feel like this kind of looks like I have no sleeves on. So I think this would actually be probably even cuter with like a different color turtleneck, maybe in black, which I thought that I bought this turtleneck in black, but I didn't. Um, I forgot to grab it. So I'll probably will grab that whenever I am returning some stuff, but I really, really love this little vest dress thing. I think it's so cute. It's very, very fall winter appropriate um obviously it would be really cute with like heels or some chunky boots or maybe even like knee-high boots it has a little slit in the side um but yeah let's try it on with some pants and like open it up okay i think i love it even more this way with these pants that i also got from this haul um so cute i just think it looks so like classy and chic um, again, I think it would be even better with maybe like a black turtleneck under or white even. I absolutely adore this whole outfit. So yeah, very, very happy. This entire outfit head to toe is H&M. I just need some cute shoes, but yeah, really, 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 really love it. Next up, we have a really nice big oversized, just white button down shirt. I feel like you can never go wrong with a white button down. And I think H&M makes really, really good ones. Like I have one from H&M that has sort of like an oversized like balloon sleeve that I have worn to death over the last like year, maybe two years. I love it so much. So yeah, I feel like H&M really does good white button downs. This I got in a size small. It was $24.99. Um, and it I think it might be able to be worn as a dress. I'm not sure yet We're gonna try it on and see I also think that white button downs are really nice for layering in the fall and winter So yeah, we're gonna try it on. Let's see what we think. Here is the shirt. I absolutely love it 
Um, it's definitely very oversized. Like I said, this is a size small and you can tell it's like quite big. I feel like you really can't go wrong with a nice oversized crisp white button down. Like they just are so great. Could also be cute if I buttoned it up and then, you know, did like a half tuck kind of situation. Um, but yeah, I just really, really love it. Next up is something a little bit fun. It is just this cute little blue sweater vest. Um, you might have seen my Target fall haul where I got this like white little sweater vest and it was just not the vibe. Like I, it didn't have a v-neck and I feel like that's what I was missing. I'm thinking maybe I can layer this over the white button down shirt that I just showed you. So we will see, but it's just a really cute little light blue with a white detailing. I got in a size medium and it was only $12.99. It's definitely like an oversized boxy fit. So yeah, excited to try this on. Okay, here is the sweater vest. I'm like... I'm not sure about, I think maybe they're just not for me, you know? Maybe it would look better with jeans. Um, these are just some like Zara Weekender pants that I have on. This makes me feel like very Gossip Girl. <laughs> um, gossip Girl wannabe. What do we think? I'm, I'm definitely leaning towards a big fat no. Um, but I feel like maybe I could style it a certain way. Let me try some blue jeans on and see what we think. Okay, is this any better? I don't think so. It's just not me, it just doesn't, it just looks like a different person. This is not my style. Okay, I've gone pantsless, and hear me out. I th obviously this is like really short, so I think that if you had like a longer white button down dress kind of thing, I'm like kind of seeing the vision. I know that like I couldn't really pull this off as it is right now, but I'm seeing a vision. Like think of this a little bit longer, tanner legs, chunky boots. I think it'd be cuter. Maybe this would be like a little bit tighter or something. I think this could be cute, but it's just like it's not working as this is right now. <laughs> Next up, we have a pair of pants. It's actually the only pants that I got in this haul, which is kind of weird. And they're just a really nice, neutral, sort of relaxed sort of pant. The material is almost linen-like. I would say it could potentially be a little bit summery, but I feel like dressing it up with like sweaters or a coat or something would make it really great for fall or winter. So, especially in Florida. I got these in a size medium and they were $17.99, so. We will see what they're like on. Okay, here are the pants. I am in love with them. They're so comfy, so cute. They're definitely a bit see-through, so I definitely need to wear like, you know, some nude undies with them, but they're very, very comfy, very classy looking. I feel like I could live in this outfit. It just feels very like classy, chilled. With some accessories, I feel like we could really like elevate this and make it look really, really cute. Um, but yeah, I love it. Okay, we're almost done. I just have a few more things, um, but I am very excited about this little blouse look at it it's really cute i might have messed up with the sizing here i got a size large um i actually tried on the medium and it fit really really well it was just like a little bit tight around the bust area so i thought i would get a large um but this looks a lot bigger and looser than the medium does so I, the medium might work better anyway it is just a cute little slightly cropped blouse kind of hard to show you what it looks like here i think this floral pattern is going to be really cute for fall and the sleeves are just nice and flowy and it has this like ruching like stretchy detail on the back so yeah let's give it a try see what we think okay this is the top and before i show you the whole thing i've already decided that i definitely want to go back and get it in a size medium because the large is just like it's just way, way, way bigger than the, than the medium was, which is kind of annoying. But this is how I've styled it with some like fun, sort of baggy, wide-legged pants. Um, these are actually from Target from about a year ago, I think. But do you see what I mean? Like, I think that the body just needs to be a bit tighter, which is kind of how the medium fit. Like, it fit quite fitted around the body, um, just loosen the sleeves, and then like this fun little like ruffle detail here around the hips. I think it is such a cute top. I just feel like it doesn't fit quite right. Yeah, I definitely think I'm gonna go ahead and get this in a medium instead. Um, it's just a little tight around the bust, but I think that we can make do with that because it's so cute. You see how this is like so loose where the medium was like quite tight, like tight enough for me to wanna get a large. So I feel like H&M maybe messed up on the sizing with this top, but it's really cute and I just kind of picture it for like a cute fall date night. We will see, but here's an up close look at the pattern and the fabric. It's really soft, really comfy. See the difference? <laughs> okay, moving on. Okay, I just have two more sweaters to share with you that I'm really excited about. First one being this Mickey Mouse sweater. It is just like an oversized crew neck, 
kind of like this. Um, I am obsessed with Mickey Mouse. I'm obsessed with Disney. I actually just bought a Disney annual pass yesterday. I'm so happy because I live in Orlando. Um, so we're close to the parks. And Disney had put all of their annual passes sales on hold. Like nobody was allowed to buy a new annual pass. Um, you could only renew it if you already had one, but like all through COVID, like nobody was allowed to buy a new annual pass and I was like dying because Disney was open and I was like, I want to go, but I'm not going to like spend however much money every single time we go. I'd rather just buy the pass because it'll totally pay for itself. So anyway, I got this really cute Disney Mickey Mouse crew neck because I bought my annual pass yesterday morning and then when I saw this H&M, I was like, I need it because I'm going to be going to Disney a lot this fall and winter. So I thought I needed a cute little mickey sweater i have a couple of them already but this one's really cute and really really soft let's try it on and see how cozy and cute it looks i almost forgot i got these really cute little mickey mouse socks i feel like these would just look so cute with some white sneakers my mickey mouse crew neck and like biker shorts this fall going to disney and these were just 4.99 so very happy with my little mickey socks okay here is the mickey sweater i absolutely adore it i feel like i might have been able to get away with it in a large just so it's a little bit longer so maybe I'll try that on next time I go to the mall, but I also have on my little Mickey socks with it. I think they're so cute. Let me show you. They're so cute. I love them. But it is so, so comfortable and just like such a classic little crew neck. So yeah, we love Mickey in this house. I cannot wait to wear this whole outfit to Disney. Okay, last thing I have to show you is this Chicago crew neck. I got it really oversized. What size did I get? I got a size extra large. I have not tried this on but I have faith that it'll fit similar to this one hopefully, but it is so soft, so cozy. I love this neutral color and it was $19.99. They have these with a bunch of different cities on them at H&M, but I thought that Chicago would be cute because if you know mine and Josh's little love story, we actually became boyfriend and girlfriend in Chicago. That's where he asked me, right in front of the big bean mirror thing at <laughs> Millennium Park. So Chicago is like a sweet little sentimental city for us. So I thought it would be cute. But yeah, let's give it a try and hope that it fits. I think it's really cute. I do think I could have got away with it in a size large instead of extra large though, because it's like pretty baggy. Um, so maybe I will get it in a large. Also, I noticed there's like a little stain here. But I don't think I don't think I did that. So, oh, sorry for all the mess in the background. If you've been seeing that for the last however long this video has been. I feel like I'm gonna be just living in these like crew neck sweaters and biker shorts and Mickey Mouse socks all fall and winter because apparently I think I am Princess Diana. <laughs> I loved so many things in this haul so I'm very happy and excited for my new clothes. I probably won't do another haul for a little while because I've been going a little overboard lately but yeah, we love. Okay, that was everything that I got. I hope that you enjoyed this haul. My battery's flashing at me, so I need to wrap this up pretty quickly. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will, of course, link everything in the description below that I can find. Comment below if you plan on picking anything up from this haul. If you thought anything was like amazing or ugly or whatever. I would just love to know your thoughts, so comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I've been pretty active over there on TikTok lately. Um, but yeah, hope that you love this video and I will see you in another one very, very soon. Bye.